Ruger 1022 rifle is probably the most popular uh, 22 semi-automatic rifle in the country right now. They just make they make a lot of these things. They've sold millions of them. And anyway, people are always looking for upgrades to them, and there's several out there. What we're looking at today is a way to pretty much just uh, uh, it dresses it up, but it also gives you some sights that work better than your standard open sights. Now, I usually have a scope on mine, but a lot of people prefer the open sights, and for those that do, there's a better thing on the market than just your barrel sight. This new sight is from True Shot Technologies, and it gives you a real good aperture rear sight that's windage adjustable by turning these screws right here. Good sturdy, protected rear sight, so you're not knocking it out of line, and instead of being out on the barrel, it goes back here on the receiver, way back here. So anyway, it gives you a longer sight radius, and it gives you a easily windage adjustable. The elevation adjustment on this thing is taken care of on the front sight. As you can see here, it's like an AK-47 style sight, and it adjusts with this little tool, fits down over top of it and turns, and that raises your sight up and down to adjust for your elevation. And it is also well protected. It's a fiber optic sight, so you can see it really well. It comes with a variety of them, different colors to suit whatever lighting conditions and, and really what your eyeball sees best. You got different ones that you can put in it. This kit comes with all that. It comes with the screws to mount it and it comes with the adjustment tool. Another thing I've got here from True Shot Technologies is the flash hider for the Ruger 1022. And it goes on, it slides on here, but you put on the uh, AK sight first, then this will slide right on there. And it's uh, you know, it's not a lot of flash you need to hide with a, a 22 long rifle, but it gives you that look a lot of people are looking for. They like the look of that. Everything in this kit, except for this, is uh, made in the USA. Now they tell me that with the, the newest backs, even the flash suppressor is going to be made in the USA. Anyway, you can get all this stuff here uh, online from TrueShotTechnologies.com. 22 rim fires are the most popular cartridge in the world, especially 22 long rifle. They're really useful. Uh, I often say that I can do 95% of what I need to do with a gun using the 22 long rifle. They're just very useful. They're very accurate, very reliable. Now, uh, one thing that a lot of people look for is uh, everybody wants to use the cheap ammo like that I've got you shown here. This is the bulk stuff that you can buy at Walmart, gun shows, such places that. And it's good stuff, really good stuff. But Sometimes you want more accuracy than you can get out of that, and more terminal effect. And uh, Paco Kelly has, for years, been making this little tool right here. Um, he makes different varieties of it, but uh, it's a basically it's a brass uh, chambers in there, precision milled with uh, nose forming tools. Where the first thing it does is it bumps your uh, 22 long rifle up to caliber. Now a lot of times they come in undersized, particularly if you've got a, a rifle or a handgun with a bore that size to handle 22 magnum and 22 long rifle this will bump it up and for doing that uh, Paco makes these tools with various sizes in them now this one multiple uh, function tool here he's got uh, different sizes on here to bump up to 222 224 or 225 diameter on this other end 223 and he's got three of those the reason you put three on there on this end of the 223, because that is the uh, the most popular size to bump up to, it makes them all consistent. And by doing that, you can do three at a time in there, drop them in and do them all at once. On the other end, you can do just one at a time. But I'm going to demonstrate how this works. And a lot of people are uh, they don't want to be whopping a 22 cartridge with anything with a hammer or whatever. But I've done I've done thousands of these, and they will not go off. You put it on a good solid flat piece of wood. And these little uh, pins here are what bumps it up to diameter. By tapping on that with this round one or any of these, it'll bump that up to full diameter where it'll fit your bore a lot better, fit your chamber a lot better. And you've got different nose shapes. Like if you want a cup point, you use this one right here. If you want an extreme hollow point, you use this one in the center. And this other one here makes a dandy little nose on it, kind of like a Federal Hydra shock. It makes a big hollow point with a little cone in the middle and I'll demonstrate for you just how these work in just a minute and I'll show you the different the different uh, nose shapes of them. This one right here is the extreme hollow point. Next up we've got the cup point. 
And I've got here, let me find him. Got here the one with the little uh, nasty nose, Paco calls it. And it gives it like a little hydroshock effect in the middle. And this is compared, let me show you to, with a standard 22 long rifle dyna point with just a small hollow point. What these things do, uh, Paco's tools, they give it, uh, give it a more blunt shape uh, for more terminal effect and quicker expansion with that nasty nose or the extreme hollow point in there. But with all of them, it bumps it up. Now first what I'm going to do, this right here bumps it up to full caliber. And uh, you can do this first with all of them. Or you can skip this spot if you don't want the uh, that shape. That gives it the cup point. Now what I'm going to do on top of that, I'm going to go back in here. And I'm going to do the uh, nasty nose. So I bump it up the diameter, this gives it a real good terminal effect the way it shapes the nose on this thing. So here we've got a full diameter, like in a max grade cartridge, um, so it'll be a lot more accurate for you. But the shape that this little tool puts on there makes it a real good terminal effect. Now I've used these things for years, and by doing this it hits harder on small game or whatever you're shooting with it, and it makes your stuff more accurate. Now, uh, it depends on how much you want to bump it up, depending on what it's going in. This revolvers, I like to use the 223 and just about everything because it'll still feed in the semi-automatics, but it fits your revolvers and all really well too. Just makes them a lot more accurate. It, it, with doing this, you can take cheap ammo uh, that you buy in bulk at gun shows or whatever, you know. And, uh, we often recommend you know buy the good stuff, but I'm like everybody else. I like to buy the bulk stuff because I shoot a lot of it and. Uh, it shoots really good. I love the Dyna Punks. They've always done real well for me. This Federal Bulk has always done real well for me, except the last lot of it I got, I had a, had a lot of misfires in it, but it used to be pretty good and probably will be again. But anyway, um, you can make it a lot more accurate by reshaping the nose of it with this tool from Paco Kelly. Now these, these Federal ones here, they start out as a truncated cone, and uh, these Remingtons are even more extreme truncated cone. Let me show you, you can still reshape it. And this is good Remington high velocity stuff. That truncated cone is a is not it, it might not be the shape you want. So the thing to do is put that in there. You can reshape the nose of that, blunt it out a little bit, and you got a lot more effective terminal effect with that big cup point on there, or you can put a hollow point in it if you prefer. So whatever you want to do. Paco Kelly makes these tools that are precision made out of brass, so there's going to be no sparks or anything that's going to cause something to go off. Uh, the chambers are made out of brass, and the punches are made out of brass. You can order these from PacoTools.com, P-A-C-O-T-O-O-L-S.com. This uh, thing sells right now shipped with the, uh, the chambers, the punches, and a nice little plastic box. whole thing, shipping included, is 99 bucks from PacoTools.com. When you're tapping these, you don't it don't take much pressure to do it. A lot of people are scared to, to hit on a 22 rim fire, but you, you don't have to worry about it. I've whopped some real hard and they didn't go off. With these, you just give them a little tap. That's all it takes to do the effect you want because it's real soft lead. It bumps it up and shapes that nose just like you need it to be.